What's going on everybody? This is Hideous Thoughts coming at you with another Black Desert Online video for console. This is episode 6 of my Black Desert Online series for console and in today's video we are going to be talking about a highly requested subject um, which is going to be enhancing boss gear and creating foul stacks. So um, the first rule of enhancing is don't enhance. If you're one of those people who gets stressed out really easy um, and you, you don't like it when things don't go to plan and and, uh, and you get frustrated um, I would highly suggest that you don't do any enhancing and that every item that you get related to enhancing you just sell make some money and buy all of your gear off the market because this is not something to uh, be taken lightly if you get stressed out easily you're probably gonna throw your controller at the wall um, or <laughs> Or, or quit the game or something like that because uh, it's uh, it's it, it, it's not overly fun and uh, now in saying that if you do want to enhance um, then I mean like for ex like I, I enjoy enhancing in a in a really sadistic way I do in enjoy enhancing and I find it quite rewarding as well you know I, I like to look at my gear and go yeah you know what I did that. I, I, I've uh, I've earned that. I've uh, I, I enhanced it myself, and I can I don't know something. Uh, I find it really rewarding. So there is positives to enhancing, um, and you know if you want to enhance for profit, um, it can be very profitable too. Um, in saying that though, you probably can lose a lot of money if you don't do it right or things don't go to plan. So you have to kind of weigh it up what you want to do, but. Um, yeah, enhancing uh, it, it, it's something it's a major part of, uh, of the game whether you want to do it or not is entirely up to you but uh, I'm going to show you today how you can enhance your gear now the best place to enhance if you're going to be following this method is Velia and the reason for, for enhancing in Velia is because you have access to um, a couple of items which are really essential for enhancing so you're going to go to the blacksmith here and you're going to go, you're going to speak to Tran and Underfoe and he's going to, he's going to have a bunch of items in the shop here that you can buy off him. And um, the most important one is these Reblath gear. Reblath gear are, are a very cheap armor that you can buy only off the uh, blacksmith here. You can't buy them off the central market or anywhere else. Um, so you're going to buy these Reblath gear and the Reblath gear are going to be um, what you're going to be using for creating the majority of your fail stacks. The other thing that you're going to be able to buy off him are these mysterious rings or mysterious belts. It's completely up to up to you what you want to buy. I started off using belts, but I um, am now using rings. I just find that I can um, make my money back a little bit on the rings, so I tend to use the rings. Uh, the the other thing that you have access to here are the blacksmith secret books. When you're creating fail stacks, um, let's say for example. You're enhancing, um, uh, let's say you want to get to plus 15 on your item and you, you're going all the way up to plus 30 and you go, okay, I don't want to push it anymore. So you can come here and you can buy this Blacksmith, Blacksmith Secret Book 30 and you can uh, extract that 30 fail stack so that um, you can start again with a new fail stack and you can work within your range again. So these are really good. You can only go up to a maximum of 50. If you wanted to go higher than 50, in the pearl shop you can come down here into function consumable and there is an item for um, pay to win money which is secret book uh, 100 which allows you to extract up to a 100 fail stack you also can buy um, these uh, 50 50 books which allow you to extract up to a 50 I personally wouldn't recommend it because you can buy 50 from the blacksmith for 3, 000, 3 million silver which is pocket change so um, it's it's totally up to you. Now the other thing in Velia as well if you come up here to the skill instructor is there's a guy up here that sells um, similar to the Reblack so you can speak to the arms dealer here and you're able to buy this militia gear. Militia gear is basically works exactly the same way as the Reblath gear, um, except it's an armor. It's a sorry, it's a weapon instead of an armor. Sometimes you might want to alternate between weapon or armor stones, depending on um, how much of each stone you have, and also the price of the stones in the market at the time. So um, that's an option there for you as well. 
if you are going to be enhancing um, I highly suggest that you um, create a lot of characters um, having a lot of extra characters is good for um, not only for energy storage but also for creating fail stacks so you can um, you can see here on this character I've got a, a 16 fail stack I've got a 30 there I've got a 24 there 26 there so um, it's really good way it's just to um, just to create extra foul stacks if you need it. Um, the other way, um, a new thing that was added into the into the game are these Nardis belts. To get this, you need a level 58 character. And what you're going to be doing is once you reach level 58, you're going to get a quest from the Black Spirit. And um, once uh, a, the series of quests are completed, you're going to get this quest reward called Nardis Parchment. You can use this to add a slot to this Nardis belt, which allows you to swap your fail stack um, and create a, a another fail stack. So, for example, you had a, a 30 here, and um, you've got an 18 here, and you wanted to swap them over. You could do that, for example. To get more of these, you can you can do it two ways because you only get one slot um, per family through the quest line, which is available for every character in your family. But if you wanted to get more, you can do it pay to win or you can use pearls. So if you go into the shop, um, you can just come here to, to new and they're right there, Nardis Parchment. So you can buy one extra slot for, for 1,100 pearls or you can get one for 10,000 loyalty points. So um, I'll be getting that extra extra one once I reach 10,000 loyalty points. So um, that's a, that's an option there for you as well. It's, it's more just a uh, quality of life kind of thing if you are doing a lot of enhancing. It, it you know just makes it a lot easier than switching back and forth between characters. All right, let's talk about items that you're going to be needing. So we've already we've already spoken about where you can get those rebleth and militia gear, um, the rings and belts, and the uh, the blacksmith books for extracting um, foul stacks. Now the other items that you're going to be needing as well are going to be. You're going to be needing these sharp black crystal shards now um, and you're also going to be needing these hard black crystal shards and the reason you need those is because these are what create these concentrated magical black stones so you get your regular black stones say for example your weapons and you get your um, sharp black crystal shards here you melt two uh, weapon stones with one sharp and it gives you a concentrated magical black stone weapon these are really important because you're going to be using these once you um, start enhancing your prior gear and up you're going to be needing these concentrated magical black stones so once your gear hits plus 15 um, and you want to hit prior you're going to need all these stones here um, so it's the same deal with the armor the armor concentrated stones you're just melting two armor stones with uh, one hard and that's going to give you one of these concentrated stones Cron stones are going to be really important for um, when you're enhancing, say, pen gear or high-end accessories. And um, Valk's Cry are also um, going to be useful. With the Valk's Cry, um, you can add these to your fail stack. So one Valk's Cry will add one fail stack, and you can do it up to a maximum of 10. So um, keep those handy as well um, when you're enhancing. Say, if you're, let's say you've got a uh, a 100 fail stack and you want to make it 110 for a te accessory attempt you can just throw in 10 of these valve cries to get that extra 10 um, on your fail stack the other things that you can use here are pure magical ma magical black stones the cleanse magic black stones and the stabilized magic black stones the stabilized magic black stones allow you to have a guaranteed enhancement um, so 100% enhancement chance for um, plus 13, plus 14, and plus 15 gear. You can see there that the stone requirements are 5, 8, and 13 respectively. Um, one thing to note though, if you are using these and you do get your guaranteed enhancement chance, is if you um, do these, you lose 30 durability on, on each successful enhance. Um, the cleanse magic black stones work on blue gear and the pure magical black stones work on yellow gear so any kind of boss gear or yellow or yellow um or yellow gray gear the the only way to get these though is from um 
fighting world bosses and field bosses so they are few and far between so they're they're not e the easiest to get but um you can um but they are there if you if you want to use them i tend to find that once you get past that barrier of hitting the plus 14 plus 15 on enhancing it's generally pretty easy um so i actually haven't used these before the other thing you're going to be needing is memory frags when you're enhancing with regular gear you can use um you can just you can go and buy more reblack gear from the armor uh, from the uh, the blacksmith and you can use that to repair the item when you've got an item that costs you know 50 million 100 million 200 million 400 million um you're not going to go and buy more of that gear to repair repair the gear because it's just too expensive so that's where the memory frags come in handy and one memory frag will repair one durability so you're going to need um probably you know a good chunk of these as well all right the stones i would probably say try to keep around 500 at a time and uh and and these concentrated stones and the hearts and sharp sharps just keep as many as you possibly can all right, the other thing that I recommend that you do as well is um, if you are going to be using um, a character specifically for enhancing, try to get um, as many kind of these inventory slots as you possibly can. It's just going to come in, um, in handy a lot when you've got to store a lot of um, enhancing items um, like you can see here. So um, the more inventory slots that you get as well, the more that your weight increases and that's going to help to carry more stones and all sorts of other things as well so another quality of life thing is just uh try to get as many slots as you can all right so now that we talked about the gear that you're going to need let's talk about what is a fail stack because you've, you've heard me um talking about um all these uh, all these items for creating fail stacks and, and repairing gear and everything but you're probably um wondering what the hell is a fail stack so a fail stack is a when you deliberately fail an enhancement so that you have a higher percentage chance of success on a on the gear that you want to enhance so what that's why we're going to be using this really cheap reblack gear here to create our fail stacks and once we're at a certain um, fail stack we can throw in the gear that we want to enhance and we are going to have a high chance of success each gear, depending on the type of gear it is, whether it's green gear, blue gear, um, gold or yellow gear, um, or accessories or whatever, um, depending on the type of gear it is, they all have their own chance of success, depending on the level of fail stack. So a prior um, armor or weapon gear is going to have a different chance of success on a um, 20 fail stack compared to a prior accessory wheel on a 20 stack, okay? So that's um, that's that's basically what fail stacking is. It's creating a, a, or, or deliberately failing an enhancement so that you can have a high chance of success on the gear that you want. So the the item that we're going to be enhancing today is going to be these Begs gloves. The Begs gloves are going to be on my sock. Um, so we're going to try and get these to try or maybe even tech today, depending on how well this goes. Okay, one thing that I will mention as well is that when you are enhancing, uh, if you are going to do it, make sure you are wearing uh, your tinfoil hat. You need to have as much um, good luck and positivity as you possibly can when you're enhancing because if you if you don't, it's, it's not going to go your way. So um, throw in your gear and you're going to see here, we've got a 100% chance to hit that first plus one. Now on, um, on boss weapons and armor, so armor up to plus five, you are going to get that 100% success rate. So you can just laugh yourself all the way to the bank um, with how good um, it feels to hit that plus five straight away um, with no stress at all. And you can see there um, that we've got that plus five. With weapons, you're gonna get it to plus seven. Um, without any need for fail stacking so you can do that and go for your life all right now with hitting the next one if you want to go plus six on your armor you've got a 70 percent chance of success it's completely up to you whether you want to fail stack for uh, plus six i tend to just give it a go 
and there you go I've hit plus six all right now with the plus seven you can see now um, our, we've got a 25% chance of success I'll tend not to risk that so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using these accessories and the accessories are going to start off my foul stats the reason why I use accessories um, and not just smash away stones is because the accessories work out to be a lot cheaper than using black stones when you look at the accessories they cost 60,000 a piece you need um, two accessories to create one fail stack so you're looking at 120,000 silver comparing that to a 200,000 black stone it works out to be a lot cheaper so I um, tend to use these so what we're going to do is we're going to smash away um, with our accessories until we create a plus seven fail stack remember we're we're at plus uh, six now and we're going for plus seven so we're going to um, make a plus seven fail stack okay so we've got our plus three with the accessories i tend to not really go above plus three just because the um the chance of success starts to get a little bit high so once i hit plus three then i change over to my rebirth gear you can see now that we're using Reblath and it, and it costs one armor stone um, every time. So we're going to um, pop that away until oh, the durability has run out, so we need to swap over to another piece. So we're going to um, pop that away until we get to plus seven. Now, um, initial setup, you're going to need um, a handful of these Reblath gear or the militia gear. Um, your initial investment is going to be you know, uh, quite a bit to get these up and also the time to do it as well. Um, so just take your time if you want to enhance just to get up those they're very important and um, Once you've done that you can start working forward with your other gear as well So we've created our plus seven fail stack and uh, now you can see instead of that 25% chance We've now got a 43.59% chance of success. So we're going to um, Pop that in there and you can see we failed but we've gone up to plus eight and the also the percentage increase has um, has gone up to uh, 46 percent so we're going to um, try again and try again normally this goes within the first few times so and there you go plus seven it does um, normally go a lot sooner than that but again it's RNG so it's going to change every every time so you can see there now because we failed a few times you can see that red bar has gone down the durability has, has gone down 15 so every time you fail you're going to lose five durability on your item and then once it gets down you're going to, um, to a certain point you're going to have to repair it so this is why it gets quite expensive because you um, you're going to have to use those memory frags which are, are not the cheapest item to acquire so um, now what we're going to need is we've hit that plus seven we're going to go to plus eight so we're going to create a plus eight fail stack all right so we've got our plus eight fail stack you can see the chance of success there is 31 percent um so what we're going to do is we're going to um, tap this away until we get to plus eight all right there you go so we, we've uh we've got that plus eight now um we're going to go for plus nine so you you guessed it we need to create a plus nine fail stack what you will get as well is you're going to get um your reblath gear is going to go to plus 15. so what you want to do is um if that happens you're going to go see the uh the priest up in the church and you're going to get him to um reduce the level of your of your gear All right, here we go. So we're going to speak to the priest and uh, we're just going to go to cleanse gear and you're just going to pop that in. It's going to cost you 100,000 silver each time and you're just going to get it and he's going to take it back to uh, plus 14. The reason why you want to re um, return it to plus 14 is because once you hit plus 15, you're going to need to start using those concentrated magical black stones and it costs uh it's, it's a lot more expensive so if you can keep it at plus 14 it's a lot cheaper in the long run and uh and you'll thank me for it so um the other thing that you can do as well is you can um 
if you do get any gear that's that's plus 15 and you want to you can um, do this thing here called devour so you can chuck in an item that's at plus 15 and what it will do is it will destroy the item but it will give you a plus 16 fail stack i really don't like i don't like doing it because i find that if i destroy the item it's going to cost me a lot more in the long run to remake that plus 14 item than what that plus 16 fail stack is worth so i don't like doing it i just cleanse my gear and return it to plus 14 and make a new fail stack um, if you need to repair your gear all you do is you come to uh, the blacksmith you buy a few um, boots you come here to repair recover max durability you find the item that you want to repair and make sure you click on the on the reblath boots and not on your memory frags because I've done that before and it's not fun using memory frags to repair shitty gear. Alright, we've got our plus nine fail stack, now we're just gonna tap it away until we get to plus nine. And there we go, plus nine. Normally when you're doing this, it, it tends to pop a little bit faster. Of course, when I do it on video, it, uh, it, li it likes to be um, stubborn and not want to go. So um, you just got to be persistent with it and um, pray to RNG Jeebus that it's, it's going to be friendly to you. Otherwise, it's going to end up just costing you a little bit in memory frags, but that's okay. So next we've got, um, we're going for plus 10. So you guessed it right. We've got to hit that plus 10 fail stack. If you do have accessories that um, enhance to uh, pry, don't worry about it too much because you can just use them again um, and it's just going to help your success rate for creating those first initial three fail stacks. I tend to not keep the accessories unless they hit duo or try um, because the pries don't really sell in the central market because there's so many of them. Um, so it's really, I don't feel like it's worth keeping unless they're duo or try. All right, here we go, we got our plus 10. Now we're just gonna tap it away until we get plus 10. Here we go, we got it on a second second go, so um, that's good for us. Next, plus 11, you guessed it. We're gonna make a, a, a plus 11 fail stack. If you are doing this and you're, um, you do get that, that successful enhance and, you, and it goes to plus 15, don't stress, you just, uh, you just start again. So now we're at plus 11. We're going to throw in our, in our gear and we're going to um, tap it until we hit that plus 11. With this um, time now though, what we're going to do is if we get to um, plus 16, and there we go, we hit it on the last one. So um, what you would do is you would stop at plus 16. And the reason for that is because the um, plus 16 stacks are going to come in handy later for your prior attempts. Um, so I, I wouldn't go any higher than plus 16 because yeah like i said you're going to use them later on um you might end up creating a lot of these extra fail stacks and we're going to swap them over but um for the for the sake of saving yourself a lot of money in the long run um once you if you're hitting that plus 11 um stop at 16. so next what we're going to be doing is we're we're starting to get into the realm of when it starts to get a lot harder to enhance so plus 12 and plus 13 they're not too bad but plus 14 and plus 15 is actually one of the hardest to the two of the hardest levels to hit when you get to enhancing um, you've actually got less chance of hitting plus 13 and uh, sorry plus 14 and plus 15 than you do of hitting a duo at um, max chances so um, we're starting to get into that realm now so things are going to get a little bit more interesting I'm gonna have to repair this one a little bit soon um, but for now we're good to go at least another couple of tries we're gonna hit uh, plus 12 now so we can um, create a plus 12 fail stack all right there we go so we've got our plus 12 um i i don't suspect this is going to go before we run out of durability it might if you know we got our tinfoil hat on where we're being super uh super positive so um fingers crossed but if not then uh, that's okay because i can show you how to repair with the memory frags so let's uh let's go and we're gonna um tap this and try and hit that plus 12. Now we didn't get it so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and and repair. So what you would do again like the uh, the reblath gear you're going to come down to the, uh, the blacksmith and we're going to max durability 
uh, recover max durability we're going to put in the item that we want to repair and we're going to click on our memory frags now you can use an item here called artisan memory it's a pay to win item and what it does is for every repair it increases um, your um, durability amount instead of one it will um, increase it to five so it, it is a pay to win item you do get three of these every month in your um, daily rewards so they they come in handy but what we're going to do is um, we're going to hit repair on this without using the artisans now you have the option if you press l2 and triangle you can um, recover max durability it will automatically do it until the item is fully repaired if you do it individually by just pressing triangle you can re repair the max durability by one if you do it by one you actually have an RNG chance of getting an extra repair so um, essentially what that means is by the time you repair it you end up with a free memory frag which is you know two million silver or whatever that's worth at the time so just keep that in mind so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to repair this item and we'll come back to you and we're going to continue on our plus 12 uh, uh, enhancement attempt all right here we go so item the item is recovered um, fully repaired and we're going to continue on this plus 12 what we're going to do with once you hit plus 12 we're going to stop this fail stack at plus 18 18 is a um, the start of our duo attempt so um, you want to keep all of your plus 18 stacks um, believe me I know it's tending to go further uh, you know above and beyond 18 you just want to tap it until it until it goes but those 18 stacks are going to come super in handy later when you want to do your duo boss attempts or you want to do um, pry accessories or, or something like that so um, once you hit 18 we're going to stop and we're going to start again okay there you go we didn't get it so um, we are going to come down here we're going to use our Nardas band and we're going to swap that over so you can see that 18 stack has gone down there um, and now we're at zero so we can start again and create our new fail stack if this is full um, you can swap over to another character and create uh, and, and use another fail stack um, or you can use the, the books from the blacksmith and you can extract that 18 stack and you can start again. So a couple of different options there for you. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create another plus 12 fail stack and I'll be right back at you in, for you guys, just a second. All right, we've, uh, we've got another 12 stack again. So again, we're gonna keep going until we hit that plus 18. And we didn't get it so what we're going to do is we're going to swap over to another character and i'm going to um create another plus 12 fail stack and we're going to go again until we hit this plus 12. all right here we go so we got our plus 12 fail stack and now we're going to be going up to plus 18. um fingers crossed that we get it before that one All right, so we didn't get it on the plus 18. Um, we're at, we've run out of, I think we've run out of durability as well, so we're gonna need a repair as well. So so this is where you gotta keep those tinfoil hats on and keep that positivity going, because it does get a little bit annoying, but um, you just gotta stay persistent and it'll go eventually. So we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna buy a um, secret book here um, for the 20, and I'm gonna show you um, how you would extract that 18 stack. So what you would do is you would go into inventory, you would click on that um, secret book it's going to open up um, this you're going to click on the book again okay we're going to extract that plus 18 uh, so it just tells you that you're going to use that um, secret book 20 to extract the 18 and um, it's going to work its magic and there you go so what that's going to do is it's going to give you an item in your inventory so it looks like this and that's our advice of Alks plus 18 that we just extracted so what we can do now is we just make another um, eight, another 12 stack and we go again all right so I actually created six plus 18 foul stacks in the process of trying to get that plus plus 12 on on those gloves um, which has never ever taken me that long before um, but we got there in the end 
what we're going to do now is we're going for plus 13. Um, so we're going to be starting with a 14 fail stack and we're going to be stopping at 18 again. Remember 18 is the start of the duo stack. So we're going to end up with a lot of duo stacks. Um, and also, you know, you can use these in the future for prior accessories. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load up a 14 fail stack and we're going to give this a go for plus 13. Okay, so we've got our um, plus 12 gloves here. Um, we've, re we've repaired them a bit. We've got our 14 foul stack. Now we're going to hit this uh, four times until we get to plus 18. And one tap, you've got to love it when a one tap um, saves you a lot of money. So now we've entered that kind of the realm of um, when things really get difficult. Um, I mean, you know, we had a real tough time getting that plus 12. But this is uh, generally when it starts to get real tough, difficult. Like I said, you've got less chance of hitting that plus 14, plus 15 than you do of hitting duo on max stack. So um, this is um, this is always the fun part. So what we're going to do now is we are going to bring up one of our uh, 18 stacks. Okay, so we'll load up our 18 stack. Um, and we're going to take this all the way to plus 30. So 30 is the start of a really good, um, like a try stack. So try uh, is um, 30 to 50. That's the kind of the, the range that you want to be going. Um, so those 18 stacks that we that we created, a lot of them 18 stacks, they all, they all come in handy now. Um, and uh, so we'll load up some of those and we'll, we'll try and hit this 14. Okay, so we've got our 18 stack. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tap this away until it gets to plus 30 and then we're going to stop. And one tap, there you go, you can't you can't argue with that as well. So that's that's awesome. Now we're going to load up um, one of our, um, another 18 stack and we're going to do the same thing for 15. All right, again, so we've got our plus 18 here. Um, you could have used this 18 stack here in the Nardis belt um, instead of using like uh, an 18 stack in, in your um, advice of valves. So uh, it's up to you. I um, was using my valve, my advice of valves. So um, cause just because I had a lot of them. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to tap it. Same deal all the way to 30. Okay, we're out of Blackstone, so I'll just grab some more. All right, cool. So we didn't hit it on 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract this, um, that 30 stack. So it comes to the blacksmith. I'll buy one of these secret book of uh, um, the 30s for 1, 1.5 million buy one of those I'm going to extract that and then I'm going to pull up another 18 stack and go again okay all right there we go plus 15 we got it on uh, I think it was like uh, plus 28 or something like that so you can see now um, we're plus 15 and to do the next enhancement it's it's asking for one of those concentrated magical black stones um, that we were talking about earlier so we need to go ahead and get some of those um, but now what we're going to do is this is actually like one of the easiest parts of enhancing is hitting pry so um, for pry what we need is we need a plus 14 stack so when you were enhancing earlier if you were stopping at like plus 16 or something like that you can use one of those stacks um, I've got uh, like a plus 17, I've got a plus 15 here I can use. Um, so there's lots, um, that's why it's always good to make sure you're stopping at those um, those ranges because you can always use those um, advice of valves later. All right, so we've got our 15 stack in. Um, I, I have done this on plus 14 many times. I've one tapped pry on 14 many times. So. It is possible it's not too low now what you want to do is you want to take this up to around 20 
I would stop at a, at about 24. Uh, I don't think it's worthwhile going above 24 um, because you can hit this on the lower stacks relatively easy. So if you do get up that high, I know it's tempting to just keep tapping away until you get it, but don't worry. Um, you can always use that stack later. So we will we'll, we will tap this now and uh, and go for pride. And look, there you go, one tapped on plus 15. So that's always good. So now what we need to do is we're gonna pull up one of those 18 stacks and uh, we're gonna go for duo. All right, so we've got our 18 stack again. Now what we're gonna do is you need four magical black stones and you're gonna tap this four times until it reaches 30. Again, 30 is that good stack for um, try. So we uh, we only want to we only want to go until 30. Okay, cool. So we didn't hit it. So what we do now is we're just going to um, swap over that that stack. We pull out another 18 stack, and we're going to go again. Also, um, a good thing to note as well is. Once you reach this point, every time you fail, you're going to lose 10 durability on your item as well. So this is when it starts to get really expensive with your memory frags and things like that. All right, so again, we've got our 18 stack back and now we are going to um, hit, uh, go for a duo again, um, all the way up to third. And there you go, one tapped. So we've got that duo there. Um, so this is when, again, now, it's enhancing in itself is is difficult in its own right because um it's kind of strenuous and uh it can be stressful like when we were doing the plus 12 and it, like six times um just to hit that plus 12 um but once you get to duo on if you go for the try attempt um and you fail it's gonna send you back to prior so um, not only do you lose the durability on it, but you also lose the enhancement level as well. So take that into consideration when you're doing it as well. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to pull out one of our 30 stacks and we're going to, um, we are going to, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put in there 10 advice of valves. I'm just going to show you guys um, how you can increase the enhancement chance by using the advice of valve. So you can see here when I'm um, tapping it, it's um, increasing the enhancement chance and you can see that Valk's enhancement chance is going up as well. So I'm just going to put in here um, like 10, which is the maximum amount of um, Valk's cry that I can use. I'm going to put the, uh, the duo Begs gloves in there uh, and I am going to go for the try attempt if i was doing this for profit i wouldn't use the advice of valks um, probably it's it's not really kind of worth it to use those um, just because they're like kind of hard to come by they're they're a bit more of one of those items that you want to try and hold on to as much as you can um, but because this is an item that i want to keep um, I'm, I'm just using it just to kind of get that extra percentage in there so what we do now is we're going to tap this if this goes to try, we'll do one t attempt. If not, um, then we'll, we'll call it a day. But all right, let's see how we go. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, we hit try on it. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to pull up one of my good 50 stacks. And, uh, and again, I'm going to use... Um, so 50 is the good starting stack for uh, Tet. But what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use another 10 Valk's Cry and we're going to go um, with the 10 attempt. So um, normally I would just keep it at, prior, at try for now um, while I'm working on getting all of my other gear up but all for the love of YouTube, let's uh, let's go 14% chance on a 60 stack for 10. Um, here we go guys, this is for you. And we didn't get it, so it sent us back to duo, but that's okay. Um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications on future videos like this and all other Black Desert console related. I really appreciate all of you guys watching. If you've got any questions or comments, um, 
leave it down below and I answer as many comments as I possibly can. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today and I will see you in the next video.